Hi guys, this is Faye, Diamond in the Rough, and I have an unboxing to do. Now this is a big box, so it's square, it is not a diamond painting. This is resin, so this is from, and I'm, I don't want to pronounce it incorrectly, so it's Kauai Craft Kits, I think depending on how you pronounce it, on whether it's a good word or a bad word, it is Japanese, I do believe. Um, but these are uh, this is a couple of craft kits that I brought. One is yet again, it's a UV resin starter kit. So we're going to see what is in these guys' starter kit. And I also purchased a another kit that was from December, which really fascinated me. So so I purchased um, an old one of their previous subscription boxes. In saying that. I was absolutely impressed with Liz. Um, she actually emailed me and she thanked me for my order. It went both the December and the UV starter kit come with the UV lamp. Since you ordered both, I was wondering if you'd like me to substitute one of the UV lamps out for an extra bamboo serving dish plus some extra fish stickers. Or I can send you both lamps, of course, if you'd like. So she's actually gone, you're buying two, two boxes two subscription boxes both of these have the lamp do you really need the lamp and you know she gave me an option and holy cow that's brilliant to me so I am going to open this up this is cute I like this I like this tape she's got her own tape now let's have a look at how this is packaged oh gosh that tape is very strong very very strong and there we go radio so these the, the small craft places they do sweet little boxings they package them so sweetly okay so okay that's the extra and that's some um, air I wonder if that's Chinese air or American air. This was actually shipped from Texas, I do believe. Hang on. The, yep, Austin, Texas is where it was shipped from. So there we go. One kit. Okay. And two kits. It doesn't say which kit is which. So, <laughs> any, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, I will actually quickly remove the tape on both of these. Oops. And as soon as I open it, I will know. Is it packaged slightly differently? Ah, oh, there we go. That's because I can't see the sticky tape. So, okay. Hang on, sorry, just trying to read this to see. Okay, so this is the one, this is the starter box. So I'll put this one to the side. And this is the starter box, okay. So there's a lovely little pamphlet inside. Um, example products, just different things that you can do with their kits. Um, but what is in it? And look how sweetly this is wrapped. Okay, let's. Okay, under the tissue paper. And then in bubble wrap. Oh, look at that. Hang on, turn it around. How pretty. How nicely wrapped is that? Okay, so in here, semi-clear pink and blue UV resin. I'm gonna leave these, so these aren't in Ziploc bags or anything, so I'm gonna leave them in the bag. So that's that one, the clear UV resin. And again, with her own, her own label on there, 100 grams. Then we have, the kit. Ok, 
Okay. Rodeo. You must put the UV lamp somewhere else. The UV lamp is not in this box. Okay. But I should get a USB UV lamp and a UV flashlight. Um, what I do have is a UV flashlight. And how cool is this? It's a pink one. <laughs> um, let's see. So I now have three UV lamps. Um, and yet yeah, three triple A batteries. I will, I will actually set this one up because I want this one on my desk to use. This is cute. The pink ones are just so cute. Okay, let's plug this in. All right, so it does come in a nice little case, storage case. Let's get this. Um, was it that way down or that way down? I can't remember which way it came out. We will soon find out if it works. Oh, sorry for squeaking. Nope, upside down. <laughs> ah, do do, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so UV resin light. I don't know whether you can see it with my nails, the light. UV light on my nails. <laughs> this is where I say my nails get damaged when I use UV. You just get that glow on my nails because it's resin. Okay, so USB lamp, UV flashlight. I do believe the UV lamp will be in the other one then. There is a three piece tool set. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted these guys because they have this adorable tool set. Um, yep, I will take these out. Bear with me. One. This is... Um, here we go. Please come on. So besides the silicon, the metal you can wipe the resin off. So I've got three cute crystal ends, but I just have like a scoop, which is really great for glitter and the micro powder. Um, yeah, and just a couple of different pieces. It'll help me move stuff around. But it's the scoop that I really like, and then of course it's the ends because it's really pretty. Okay, silicon mixing cup. So I've got these already. I do like these. Um, I do have one now that has the cutout on the sides, which is really perfect. But that's nice to have. Transparent tape. So that's for the bezels, um, and that I have been using I've got one of these already I'm using and you do go through this it does end up getting thrown out okay silicon mold tag shape so here we go I will take this one out and I can find the opening there it is so that tag shape will actually do you can do those So just with the clear resin. Um, actually, I have to do it. Um, I did get, I got um, some resin before, and the resin actually was semi-set in the bottles from a different company, not this one. And I just, there's something I do want to do, I want to check this right now. because I would hate to have the same thing, same issue. Okay. I'm only going to check the one bottle. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's running. That is running. Okay. 
these are childproof bottle tops too by the way okay then we have the silicon mode the Sakura which um, is Japanese and come on be nice there we go that's pretty that's really pretty but that is the same as CNC that's what that is okay then black acrylic open bezels so what I have is two open bezels oops okay looks like that's just a little bit damaged on there but once I put the resin on it'll stay in place so that's a cat and bats by the look of it and I think that looks like a dove there is a coating on those that I need to pull off when I'm working once I've finished work when I'm working with them okay gold circle open bezel which I have seen before but they are really nice um, that, that bag's already open okay but what that has which I will need to oh, take that back that actually is the shaker film okay I will pop that on there um, so that's the gold circle I have a gold wand okay that's quite cute <laughs> I look at these going mmm cover minders I can't find that opening okay so here we go so that's an open bezel so that's quite sweet uh, a jar of glitter okay so this is the jar of glitter um, and I'll just see because sometimes no I've got the wrong lighting to be actually be able to show you uh, okay there we go jar of glitter and this is why this scoop is really good for these little jars of stuff okay jar of glitter design film so this is the design film so what you can do on your shaker molds instead of using the that you can actually put that as behind it as a design um, and you can use it as a backing of a lot of things plus there is also words so you've got dream inspire create there's some love hearts um, I think I'll have to use Google Translate for those words okay so there's that one then star keychain oops okay okay so that's the star keychain um, that's just clips some way a gold keychain so what I do is um, you can what you can do is attach things like that to a keychain and make it a bag chain um, key ring and I'd say that pin is there to help you when you to use when you open a key ring there we go there's a tool that actually helps keep it open now gold jump ring so these are these are just gold rings that you clamp on that um, when you're attaching so like if I'm going to attach this here this is good for that to go on there okay so you, you can attach it onto anything else and one thing I did miss was the jar of metal embellishments so I'm just gonna 
work out how to open this. And I know me, I'm going to spill it everywhere. Oh, I'm going to have to work on that one. But let's see if we can get that to zoom and focus on it. So there's moons in there, stars. So just little embellishments that you put. Um, you put straight into resin, you can put into shaker moulds. So yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. That's a cool kit. Um, right So what I'm going to do is, because that's not going to fit in there, is it? No. And they are set in there. So the mould in there, that in there, that in there. Let's work out where we're putting things. I want to keep that by itself. That can go in the top. It's another mould that can go in there. And they would show there. Okay. Oh, and put that one in there. There we go. That's better. Them in there. Them in there. Okay. So that is the starter kit. So if you're looking at getting a starter kit, although I don't have the lamp in there, but I believe that the lamp will be in the other kit. But there we go. So that's the starter kit. I shall now go and open up the other one. I'll put that aside, out of the way. I'm going to have quite a bit of resin around the place. Okay, so that's the starter kit. Just so resources for getting started with UV resin. So there's actually a little note. Okay. Hello, new to UV resin. Tried UV resin but couldn't quite get the hang of it. Or are you a craft supply hoarder like myself? Either way, I hope you're excited to start making new projects. If you have any questions related to the craft in this box, the best way to ask is by leaving a YouTube comment on my UV resin videos. That way others who might also be wondering the same thing can see my answers as well. Um, so there's a few things that they're saying here. Um, there's the shaker bezel, the jewellery tag, the Sakura keychain. Um, yeah, okay, so that's that side of it. Then we go the other one. Now, this one is Resin Fish Ponds Box. And this one I am really excited about. And... Um, Rachel Ray, if you have gotten this far, this is something you might want to um, look at in relation to your desk, your door desk. How about I put it that way, your door desk. Um, because what is in here is gorgeous. And I've seen it and I've wondered how it's done, but I've seen how it's, I've now seen how it's done, but I didn't know where to get the stuff from. Okay, so this is what's in the box. So Matsu cup, got resin, and look at this. Bamboo serving dish, and see the fish. Okay, the lamp, there's stickers, and there's a bonus item. So this was their very first ever box I created so which is really cool really cool um, you do there is some things you can see on um, on, on YouTube and I will put some links to her channel to Liz's channel and what she does so here we go tissue paper and bubble wrap and here we go. Woohoo! So what in place of one of the UV lamps, I was given two of these plus extra fish stickers. So just bear with me. Oh oh she's put some other stuff in there too. Of oh, course. Cool. So this is actually extra, so I'll put that aside, but what it is is basically this process 
So what we have is bamboo serving tray. So I have, or serving dish, so I actually have two of these. Another great holder for a pond. Pour about, okay. This is a complete, well, a couple of complete projects. But there's the pond, the, the serving dish, the masu cup, this, oh, just a little badge. That's the bonus item. Oh, oh, that's pretty. So that's the mat matsu cup. Matsu cups were originally used to measure rice, which was currency in Japan during the feudal period. Today, they are used primarily for drinking sake, sake, and this. And for this box, it can also be used to make a fish pond environment. The cup in this box was made in Japan using traditional hinoki wood. The size is one go, which holds 180 mil. And I tell you what, oh my gosh, it, it feels beautiful. It really does feel beautiful. Okay, what else have I got in here? So we have the UV resin clear, so I now have two bottles of clear resin <laughs> never do with okay the uv lamp and the fish okay so i already have one but this one's pink <laughs> sorry um okay just looking for the on off there's an on off button on the side one i've got is an on off at the back on the top but that's on the side and it's just UV charging. What this means is I can work on a couple of things at the same time, um, which, um, yeah, I really do enjoy using. Um, I've had it where I've been working on a piece. I need to put it under resin, but I've already under a lamp, but I've already got it under a lamp. So, two UV lamps will be fantastic, um, and just USB charging. Uh, can't see that's a six watt so they are the lower ones which means you need at least six minutes under this to work properly okay let's get this box out. and then you have the 3d stickers so I've got a couple of a couple of lots of these and let's see what happens with the 3d stickers is you they get layered so you see how it's a starting point so you layer on one uh, six four seven twelve <laughs> so you've got one and then what you're doing What are we doing? Just want to work it out. Okay. Rightio. So what you've got is it's your layering process. So you put one, two, three on, and what it is, you put a layer of resin down. You put one fish on, another layer, then you put another, the second piece on, and then and so on, and you build it up. So I've just got to work out which order they go in on there I'd say the bigger to the smaller so if this one I would say we put that one down and then that one on top then that on top and then that on top if that makes sense okay so there we go 3d stickers and what the what what the what bleh, 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 what you do is in here you would put one one down do your resin put another one down and then another one and then another one and that would build into one fish and because I have two which is absolutely fantastic um, I actually really do like that that's really sweet um, and Liz is really really good for just going doing that so whoops Got a few bits and pieces in here. Um, 
that they're tiny. <laughs> okay. Um, and what she's given me, if I do, just hang on. She's given me fish that I, they're not all the same. I've got two fours, but she's, yeah, okay. So she didn't, when she gave me the next set, it was actually a different lot of fish. I don't have those fish. Okay, so there we go. And then as an addition, I've got a necklace chain and, oh, cute little hairpin that I can put resin in. Um, okay. So that's what we have. We have. That's pretty cool. That's going to be a really good, good um, kit to do. Good lot of things to do. Um, I do believe that one of these, doing one of these would probably be perfect for a live. Um, but we'll see. I'll uh, see what I can do. Um, look at the flowers so they so yeah, they just peel off I'm just wondering if that I put that around in a pattern and layer them on top or not I don't know we'll see find out when I go and look at her, her website and her, her um, YouTube channel but I will have pop things down below um, what else can I say? I think that's about it. I think I did pay, because I wanted it fairly quickly, I did pay, um, I paid for shipping, but the two kits together were $84.98. I do believe that possibly if it had been in the US, it would have been different shipping but I paid first class international. So um, just trying to see if um, so she doesn't just that's one thing about Liz's um, website. If you have a look at it, the kits she does kits but they're not all resin kits. So there is some polymer clay if you want to get into the play, polymer clay. Um, so yeah, there's a few things in there. Some of them are sold out, but um, but some of the other things that were in there, I just wasn't something that I was actually interested in doing. So um, this, these two articles I did like. I will be keeping an eye on every time she does a new box I will have a look to see if it's something I want to do but I do believe that now I have possibly enough craft products to do keep me busy for quite a while so um, let's see if there's anything else there yep just click on the links for I don't know whether they offer a discount I can't recall any discount being offered any codes or anything like that um, I'm just having a quick look on their website today there we go there's okay no I don't think there's anything that you can do um, no, there's nowhere. I'm looking at seeing if there's somewhere where I can give you a discount code or something like that, but there doesn't seem to be any discount code that I can see. Excuse me. <coughs> um, but yeah, guys, I will say thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, and this is a project that I will do, possibly a live. Who knows? We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed, and of course hit that bell so that then when I upload videos or go live you will receive a notification. 
So yeah, guys, thank you for watching and bye for now.